Hi folks, I'm Douglas Kruger. It was a pleasure presenting for you on the topic of innovation in my presentation titled Relentlessly Relevant, How to Innovate. We looked at a number of different things. We looked at why it's worth your while to innovate. We looked at how to create a culture of innovation and how you should tell your radical disruptors and your efficiency optimizers about their different but complementary goals. Most of all, I left you with 10 levers, 10 principles or approaches by which to innovate. I'd like to summarize them for you. Number one, ask what are we actually trying to achieve here? The nature of the questions you ask radically changes the outcomes you get. Surprisingly often, a company thinks that they do a certain thing while their customers actually get a very different thing from them. Two, ask which walls must go. Encouraging interdepartmental communication and cross-pollination of ideas is an incredible way to cut down costs and become more agile. Remember, if you keep your toaster makers in the toaster making department and your rocket makers in the rocket making departments, all you're going to get is better and better toasters and better and better rockets. Let them meet and mate and you might end up with toast-powered rockets or rocket-powered toasters. Three, ask where has this problem been solved before? Remember the ER team that needed to cut down their handover period? They went and studied a Formula One event and watched how a car could be refueled and serviced in less than four seconds. Four, ask why do we focus on focus groups? Focus groups are fast becoming outdated. Instead, the better way to approach it is to go and live your customer's experience. Be the hotel manager who spends a night in his own hotel room. You'll be amazed at the opportunities that you spot for innovation. Five, ask why are we competing against our competitors? The more you compete against them, the more you copy them, the more you emulate them, the more you look like them until everyone becomes indistinguishable. What if you looked for completely different markets? What if you looked for completely different approaches that made you unique? Six, ask what rules are people trying to break? Could there be merit in allowing your customers or your staff to break the rules that they're trying to break? Are they trying to do things faster, in simpler ways? Could you be more agile if you indulged the rule breaking? Seven, import external thinking. Get fresh ideas and a fresh perspective on your problem. Ask a group of engineers for a solution, you'll get an engineering solution. Ask someone different, you might get a social solution, an artistic solution, a spiritual solution. Get fresh eyes. Eight, ask what is our unique signature? Sometimes it's not about being technically the best in your industry. It's about who has the most interesting story. Add theater. Nine, ask what could make us what speaker and author Joe Calloway calls a category of one. So unique that there's nothing else like us. Hence, no competition. 10, ask do we invite, encourage and reward failure. Innovation is messy. It comes in fits and starts, and that makes it tricky to manage. Here's one simple tip. Don't measure the immediate financial return on innovation efforts. Instead, measure the excellence of your staff's experiments. Let them come to you with a brilliant idea. Measure how well they test the idea, and not whether it works or not, but rather what new knowledge they gain as a result, and how they pivot and go in different directions. Finally, have the courage to implement your ideas. Pick them up and run with them. Innovation is useless as an academic exercise. It's about real-world experimentation and learning quickly. It's about failing a number of times, learning those lessons, pivoting, and moving forward. Get your hands dirty with innovation. I highly recommend it. I'm Douglas Kruger. Here's hoping you will remain relentlessly relevant.